Army, directed by Steve Inchow. So the movie starts out with Liu Xuan buying the Green Gulf Wild Reserve for 20.02 billion Chinese yuan. And he invites some Richie Rich Superlanks over to his mansion place, who find out that he got a reclamation permit, which means that he's gonna make even more of that paper cash money cream, get the money dollar dollar bill, y'all. Another rich boomer food named Ru Long strikes to deal with Leo for 45% with a whole piece of her heart because she likes that Bambalink who has become rich from being a poor man. And all of a dang dong, some weird crumble snap comes up to Leo and gets his number. But that little crumble bunch named Sean turns out to be one of the mermaids who have been sent by her other mer homies to kill Liu Xuan for destroying their sea life environment of the Green Gulf with some powerful sonar pulses. The next day, Ru Lan challenges Liu for some reason, so Liu decides to call Sean to make Ru Lan jealous, not knowing that he is about to get killed. The Mer Octopus sends her with poison that can only be cured by alcohol, and Sean tries her hardest to take that Goober Stopper out, but she fails and gets caught. And with Liu seeing her look like she looks on coastals at night, he tries to send her away with money, but he changes his mind to continue to make Ru Lan all booty crumple fit, and that jank works. So now away from the charade, Leo tries to ditch her, but Sean wants to show him where she works. And Leo gives in, and eats the chicken that reminds him of his past, when he ate have nothing but a dusty old Cracker Jack in his shoe, which made him want to get all the money in the world when he gets older. Then Sean says all the money in the world don't mean Jibble Jack if you don't got no clean water. And with that drop of wise truth, Leo and Sean fall in love and have fun together. And when Sean was supposed to bring Liu inside her home to take him out, she decides against it and lies to her mermaid folk. The next day, Liu takes Sean on a date and proposes to her because he has found someone who doesn't want him for his money. And after a fickle fan argument, they kiss, but Ryu Lan sees that, and Liu is like, leave me be, you frumple framp. But that night, after following Sean back to her place, Liu sees the mermaids chilling up in their crib, and he gets caught. The Mer Octopus is about to eliminate him forever, and Sean is like, no way, you snipple bibble, I'm about to be like Pocahontas and stop you. Which allows Liu to flip his booty flaps together and get away. The Mer Octopus is all mad, but the Granny Mermaid is like, nah fam, don't trip, I used to love a human, so it's all good. And with this separation, Ruolan is about to finally get into Liu's picnic basket, but Liu is preoccupied with helping Sean's mermaid people. And after experiencing the sonar himself, he ends the Green Gulf project and turns off the sonar in the region, making Ru Lan all trouble bamp. But Ru Lan in her loving jealousy employs a bunch of booty scrippers to find the mermaids and make them suckers extinct. And when Ru Lan's people get to the mermaid place, they start to take them out. But the granny mermaid saves them all, and they escape into the ocean thanks to Liu's decision to end the sonar. But Ru Lan's target is really Sean cause she all mad about her taking her man. And she starts to torpedo her and bomb her. And Ru Lan almost takes her out, but Leo saves her at the right moment, allowing the police to arrive to arrest the destructive fooly, foolish fools who foolishly fool around when they being foolish. And months later, Leo is visited by a marine biologist student who has heard Leo's donated all of his billions to protecting the environment. But then Sean joins Leo's conversation confirming that they are now married, and Liu Xuan and Sean swim with the other mermaids, now contently living happily together as human life now protect and coexist with the wonderful marvel of the sea. The End